You are very welcome to this yin yoga with a bolster and blocks class. You can do this routine with a bolster and blocks or a bolster or blocks. Depending on whatever you have at home, you should be able to make this routine work with at least one block. This will be a really nice stretchy and relaxing routine. So let's get started with a seated meditation slash saddle pose. So depending on whatever you have, you can just place them on your mat in a way which you'll be able to sit on them with your legs either side. So I'm going to place my blocks together like so, and then I'll put the bolster over them. And then we'll come to sit with the legs either side. Always adjusting the props until we find that really nice Goldilocks position for them. When you feel satisfied, you can have your palms facing up, just resting on your legs. And take some time to lengthen up through your spine. Relax your shoulders. And loosen up your jaw. The hardest part is over now that you've made it to your yoga mat. So just find your breath. You don't have to manipulate it in any way, but rather just observe it as it comes in and out of your body. It's very natural for thoughts to start appearing in your mind. But if that's happening, just try your best to dull the light on them. To just come back to your breath and back to your body. And it doesn't matter that you got distracted. All that matters is that you came back. And before we move on, just take a few more deep breaths. Loosen your jaw. Tuck your chin slightly towards your chest so you can elongate your spine. Relax your shoulders. Remember whatever noise is happening around you, you can always come back to 
the quietness within yourself. Just by pausing and breathing and observing. If your eyes are not already open, you can open them now. And we're going to take this into a little bit, bit of a deeper saddle pose, so really opening up through our quad muscles. So you might find that you are already at your capacity here, and that's fine. You can just stay in this position. But if you do feel as though you can go a little bit deeper, well, then very mindfully, you can start to walk your hands back behind you. You want to keep your knees connected to the mat, so make sure they're not floating up. And then ever so gently, you might hug your knees into your bolster or your blocks. And we'll stay here for the next two minutes. also providing a nice stretch for your ankles. You can start to bring yourself back up into a straight spine. And very slowly we'll release ourselves from the pose, moving your props to the side for now. You can stretch your legs out long in front of you and do whatever you need to do to release the pose. We'll make our way into child's pose now. So you can bring your knees onto the mat have your big toes together and take your knees wide apart. If you need to, you can have your bolster or a yoga block in underneath your hips. Otherwise, you might just make a little bridge with your blocks or your bolster or your blocks and your bolster. And then come on down to bring your forehead onto whichever, whichever prop is in front of you. And we'll stretch the arms out long in front of us, helping to open up through the shoulder blades as well. And we'll stay here in child's pose for the next three minutes.
take three more really soothing, quiet breaths here. When you're ready, you can push yourself away from the floor. Coming back up just to sit for a moment, letting everything settle back into place. Keeping your awareness on your breath. We'll bring our focus up into the shoulders and the arms a little bit. And we're going to just stretch them out by placing them on our props in front of us as we lie down on the mat. So depending on how open you feel within your shoulders, you might just put your hands onto a block or two, or you might stack your bolster on top of your block as well. And of course, you're free to adjust and experiment if you go into the pose and realize that it's not for you. Of course, you can make it a little bit less intense. So when you're ready, you can come down to lie on your belly. Resting your forehead onto the mat. Bring one arm at a time onto your props. Starting to feel that opening within your shoulder blades and along your arms. And we'll just completely surrender here for the next two minutes. But if you feel as though you have reached your maximum sooner, that is okay. And if you feel as though you have numbness or tingling within your hands, then of course, please take them down take a little rest and you can always come back into the pose if that feels good. You can remove your arms from the props now, bringing them back to the ground at whatever point they comfortably come to. If you have a bolster, you might roll it down so it comes in underneath your hips. And then just finding that really perfect place for you to rest on the floor, feeling the support of everything beneath you. We'll just let the body digest the poses that it's done so far.
that you can bring yourself back now. Just pushing yourself away from the ground. So you come back towards all fours. Our next pose is sleeping swan. So if you have a bolster, you can put it on the mat in front of you in a way that you'll be able to rest your knee, your shin and your foot onto the bolster. And if you don't have a bolster, you can just bring your leg onto the mat in front of you and then you can place a yoga block in underneath your hip. So first of all, if you have your bolster or if not, just bring your right leg out in front of you. Being very mindful here of that front knee. And remember, your right foot can still be as close to your body as it needs to be. If you're using a block, it can go now in underneath your right hip. And then if you have another block, you might place it at the front of your mat to rest your forehead onto. So wherever you are, you can start to slowly come down onto your forearms, keeping your weight in your hips, and then resting your forehead down onto whatever is in front of you. And as always, feel free to adjust as necessary and be really mindful of your body here, especially if you're not used to using props in this way. Sometimes it might not react the way we're expecting it to, so we have to move even slower with even more intention as well. We'll be here for three minutes. Feeling that deep, stretchy sensation within your right glute. Maybe feeling some activity within your back leg. Take about three more breaths here. And now you can reverse out of Sleeping Swan. Slowly making your way onto all fours. Adjusting your prop if needed. 
And then have your wrists directly below your shoulders and your knees below the hips. We'll release the pose with a few rounds of cat and cow. So as you inhale, point your tailbone up, drop your belly, bring your chest forward and look up. Exhale, point your tailbone down, round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest and drop your head. Inhale to come back up into cow pose. Exhale to round down to cat. Keep going for a few more at your own pace. Come back to a neutral spine now and bring your hips over towards the right. Look back over your left shoulder and then gently start to bring your hips back towards your heels. And come back up to center. This time bring your hips to the left. Look back over your right shoulder and then gently glide back. And this time we'll bring the hips over the right shoulder, look back over the right shoulder and glide back. Bring the hips to the left, look back over the left shoulder and glide back. You can come back up and when you're ready, we'll repeat sleeping swan on the opposite side. So this time setting up your props to allow you to put your left knee forward. Back knee determines how deep you go into the pose. And if you're using blocks, you can place a block in underneath your left hip, keeping the hips square and keeping as much of your weight in your hips as you can. You can come down onto your forearms and then maybe head comes to a prop. Once you feel settled, we'll commit to stillness for the next three minutes. Just cultivating this quietness within yourself. Learning to observe your breath and observe your thoughts and remembering that it's okay if you get distracted, if your awareness leaves the yoga mat. All that matters is that you come back each time.
Take two or three more breaths here. And now let's start to make our way out of swan pose. And this time you can slowly come back to downward facing dog. Having both feet about hip width distance apart. You might just paddle your feet or sway your hips from side to side. Helping to release all of the poses so far. When you're ready, you can drop both knees back down to the mat. And this time we'll be coming into supported fish pose. So you can have either your bolster going across the mat behind you, or you can have a yoga block ready to go in at the back of your shoulder blades. And whatever you're using, our goal is just to have that prop propping up our chest. You can either have your head resting on a yoga block or a cushion, or you can carefully bring the crown of your head onto the mat. Legs can be long on the mat. Wherever you are, just start to feel that gentle opening of your chest. Your lungs have more space now to expand. As you breathe in, you might feel your heart and your throat opening as well. We'll stay here for two minutes. Wherever you are, you can gently lift your head again. 
prop yourself back up onto your elbows or just come to sit on the mat. And then you can remove your prop for now. Slowly then roll back down onto your back. giving your spine a moment to align itself against the ground again. Noticing what feels different within your body since when you first started this practice. And just feeling all of this positive energy that you have created. We'll really encourage that energy to soak into the body now with corpse pose. So if you have a bolster, you might place the bolster underneath your knees or maybe under your hips. If you're using yoga blocks, you might rest your feet onto the yoga block. And then again, finding that perfect position to rest in. Allow your body to take up as much space as it needs. Relax your jaw. Drop your shoulders. Drop your hips, drop your knees, drop your feet, drop your hands, and drop your head. Feel everything getting heavier and more relaxed. We'll stay here for the next three minutes and then I'll let you know when it's time to come back.
If you're ready to come back, you can make some small movements now. Thank you so much for joining me for this class. If you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you could leave the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. When you're ready to come up, you can slowly make your way into a seat on your mat. Well done for making it to your yoga mat and for doing this practice. I'll see you again on the mat soon, but until then, take good care of yourself and goodbye.